everyone and welcome to Oxen Channel. Today is grammar day and we want to talk about phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are a kind of verbs that are also called two-part verbs. We have some examples here like break down, see to, or look down on. Now phrasal verbs consist of one verb and an adverb or a preposition or both. So in breakdown, we have the verb plus an adverb. In C2, we have the verb plus a preposition. And in look down on, we have the verb plus an adverb and a preposition. Now the fun thing about phrasal verbs is that, one, they are very informal. Unlike people's opinion that they think because it's long, it can be used in writings and formal stuff, it is very informal and is normally used in speaking. Another thing about phrasal verbs is that when we have a verb, it has a meaning. But by adding an adverb or a preposition and thus making a phrasal verb, the meaning completely changes. Like compare the verbs give and give up. When you give something, somebody else receives it. But when you give up something, it means that you quit. You don't do it anymore. So see, the meaning is totally different. Now the point that we want to talk about today is that phrasal verbs are of two kinds. Some of them are separable. It means that when they receive an object, you can separate the verb and the article with it, the adverb or the preposition. And some of them are inseparable, which means that when you add the object, you cannot separate them. Now look at this one. I need to take my book back. Take something back. Now, take back is a separable verb. You can also say, I need to take it back, have the pronoun instead. But you can also say, I need to take back my book. So all three forms are available. I need to take my book back, take back my book. I need to take back my book. The object can go after the article. Or instead, you can have the objective pronoun, which goes in the middle. But remember, the objective pronoun can never be after the article. We never say take back it. It's wrong. Take it back, take your book back, or take back your book. Other examples include write something down or pick something up. So these two are also phrasal verbs that are separable. You can separate them. But look at this one. I ran into Molly at the mall. So I was at the mall and I suddenly saw Molly. I ran into her. Run into someone is an inseparable verb. We can never say, I ran Molly into at the mall. It's inseparable. You need to have the verb and the article next to each other, and the object is after the article. Other examples include get on and look after. So we never put something between the verb and the article. Now, for more verbs like these, you have to look to a dictionary. Now let's go watch Liz's video.